My Wi-Fi router Mini is a good device. I haven't touched it for a while because I have bought a new router which is faster. The Mini router is like my ex-wife. Never see each other again ever since I got the new one. But now, I would like to try the Gargoyle firmware on the device to fill the passion with my old love. Gargoyle firmware is an upgraded version of OpenWRT. Some useful functions are added into the firmware such as QoS, and the web interface is a little different. Let's get started. It's very easy to install firmware on this device. It doesn't have the strange partition table like other devices. All we need is getting into the stock firmware, then write the gargoyle image into the firmware partition. First, we need to install this version of stock firmware to get the telnet access. We can easily get the telnet access from this version by opening these two links. Now I'm going to log in the administration webpage to install that specific version of stock firmware to get the telnet access. A few moments later. After this firmware is installed, we do a quick setup. Now logging the administration webpage, we see the token in the address bar. Copy the token and paste it to the links. We also need to provide the administration password in the second link and set a new root password in the link. Now we open the links with the browser. Telnet access will be unlocked after the two links are open. It's time to copy the gargoyle image to the router. I'll just use a USB drive to do the job. If you don't have one USB drive, you can also log in the router, directly download the gargoyle firmware from the internet with the wget command. Very simple.
my device doesn't seem to have the firmware partition. If there is no firmware partition, I'll just flash the Gargoyle firmware into OS1 partition, like introduced on the OpenWRT webpage. It should work. A few moments later. Now we reboot. Wait a few minutes for the firmware to start up. A few moments later. OK, the Gargoyle operating system is started. We can log in. All useful information is just presented on the web page. Some useful tools are added into the firmware. The web user interface looks simple and clear. Doesn't look like a gargoyle at all. It looks like a girl dressing in a light purple skirt. If you fail to install firmware on this device, no worries. You can still revert to the stock firmware and try to install again. For this device, the factory restore function is provided by the stock bootloader, which is very convenient for us to use. You know how to revert to the stock firmware, right? Put the stock firmware into a USB drive and rename it to miwifi.bin. Plug the drive into the rotor, then boot into the recovery mode by pressing the reset button. The recovery mode will load the image from USB drive. A few minutes later, the stock firmware will come back. A few moments later. Although this device is too old, its Ethernet ports are only 100 bit per second. But it's still enjoyable to play with this device. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye bye!